Hey guys, it's March 1st, so you know what that means, another weigh-in day. So if you remember from my last month's weigh-in video, I only lost 1.2 pounds that month and it was a smidgen discouraging. Uh, so I figured out that I needed to recalculate my macros and probably just be eating at a larger deficit since I had lost so much weight. Uh, you know, at that point I was at 54 pounds down and I had been eating the same amount of food every time. So in February, I decided to recalculate my macros, which honestly weren't that bad to begin with. I don't really even know if I ate any differently. One thing that I wanted to do this month, which I just realized is not really feasible for me, it's not feasible, I just decided that I don't need to do it right now, is track my food. So the whole basis of this channel is meal prep and if you meal prep, all you have to do is calculate your macros one time and then that's your macros for the whole week. So, you know, I would sit down and think about, okay, what meals do I want to eat this week? And of course I do intermittent fasting, so I'll only eat twice. Uh, so what meals do I want to eat this week? I'll get a rough estimate of the macros for them. Just making sure honestly that I stay under 20 grams of net carbs and since that's all I'm eating during the week, I don't really have to track or do anything like that. So I was gonna try to do that this month. Like I'm gonna calculate my macros. I'm gonna stay really hard on them. I'm gonna track every day. And then I was just like, I don't need to. I don't need to do that. So I'm still excited that I lost weight this month without having to do that. And I'm gonna keep doing that until I get to another stall or maybe another month or two where I don't actually lose a lot of weight. Speaking of weight loss, let's see how I did. If you remember from last month on February the 1st, I was 177.2. And today I stepped on the scale and I was 172.1. That is a weight loss of 5.1 pounds for the month of February and wait for it, 60.4 pounds since I started. Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm sorry. 60 pounds down. Okay, enough said. Needless to say, I am ecstatic. I stayed the course. I think that's all that February was about, was about fundamentals. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that on in February, I also did a February fundamentals fitness challenge where I did a thousand push-ups, a thousand squats, a thousand sit-ups all over the course of February. So that shakes out to about you know, 30 something a day. I did not do 30 something a day. And there were times where I had to do 150 in one day, times when I could just do 50 in one day. But needless to say, I finished it and I feel great. I feel like my muscle tone and my arms and my legs, like fundamentals, FTW, you know? Um, but I feel like I got back that way with my eating as well. So just sticking to the fundamentals, just calculating your macros, eating, regular food and staying the course. I didn't do anything crazy since I only lost 1.2 pounds last month. I wasn't like, I gotta egg fast, I gotta regular fast, I gotta do anything crazy. It's just like, stop, reassess, take a look, and then just stay the course. So I'm ecstatic. Onward to April. So for April, my only goal is to be in the 160s. So like if I only lose 2.2 pounds in the month of March, which will get me to like 169.9 or whatever, I'm fine. Like I just want to get into the 160s. So that's the goal and I'm sticking to it and I know it's achievable and I know you can achieve your goals as well. Leg up. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment. Let me know how you did this month. Also subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. You can also find me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next month.